to another day of devotions in this Easter season, this week after uh, we celebrated the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Um, and we are con considering what it means to be alive in Christ. Today, we're going to talk about a wake-up call, a wake-up call. Have you ever had one? Perhaps you've had an experience in your life where you were just kind of going along and something happened and it made you really think and it became a turning point in your life. Um, I want us to go back to this story that we've been kind of living in over this week, uh, the story of the resurrection of Lazarus. Now, we're not talking about the resurrection of Jesus this week. We're talking about the resurrection of Lazarus, which actually happens um, before Jesus' own death and resurrection. Um, the resurrection of Lazarus is a little bit different from Jesus' resurrection in that he was re brought back to life. He was going to die again, but he was brought back to life. And um, in our text today, I want to focus on what Jesus says to his disciples before he ever goes um, to respond to the call by Mary and Martha to come and heal Lazarus. Um, and so in our story, when he, Jesus receives this word that Lazarus is greatly ill, um, he is in a town called Bethabara, Bethabara. And that, as, as we said earlier this week, is a day's journey to Bethany. It's not that far away. It's only a few miles away. But we are told that Jesus waited how many days? Four days before he actually gets to his friends. Now, when he received the news, he told his he initially told his disciples that Lazarus' sickness would not end in death, that he would just go to sleep. Now, of course, we, we know in the story, Lazarus actually does die, but, um, but anyway, he says that Lazarus had fallen asleep and that he was going to, to go and wake him up. I want us to think about that. What does it mean um, to get a wake-up call from Jesus? For Lazarus, it was calling him from death back to life, but in John's Gospel, so many times the words that he uses are multi-layered. They have multiple um, interpretations. So Jesus says he's going to wake Lazarus up. And I want us to think about being awakened by Jesus. I've had many times in my lives when I've gotten a wake-up call. And um, we talked about pivoting it, you know, this this moving from fear to, to faith in Jesus when we go through rough times. But also, you know, a lot of times the wake-up call is to, is to new understanding um, about life. And uh, I certainly have had that as I have experienced life and death and resurrection in my own life through, uh, through these wake-up calls. One of them that I've talked about a lot in my life is, has been that time when I, my understanding of healing uh, through my dad's death came to me. Um, other times when I have experienced that kind of wake-up call is when I have encountered people um, that I had presuppositions about. Um, I've worked with people who've ho who are homeless, and I've had a wake-up call as to um, what that means um, in, in terms of my own journey of faith. And those times when I have found myself in places of not being at home and what people have taught me. Uh, that have been in that life's journey, or perhaps it's been addiction of some kind, or ha perhaps it has been um, times when people have struggled with their identity, their self-identity, and, um, and I've learned so many things uh, from people who've been through different journeys in life that have showed me more about what it means to live a life of faith and belief in this one who gives us um, 
wake up calls to help us to understand more fully what it means to follow Jesus and being in relationship with him. So the question for today is, where are you finding that you're asleep in your life of faith? Where are you stuck? Where are you slumbering? Where do you need a wake-up call from the one who wants you to see things more clearly and wants you to experience new life in his name? I would encourage us today, as we are doing our reflection time, to think about where are we sleeping? Where are we not aware? And just spend some time in silence with God, trusting that God will reveal to us those areas and will shine light on them so that you and I can wake up and experience new life once again. God wants to do that in your life and mine. So will will you pray with me as we just take a moment to offer ourselves to God? I want to invite you to just breathe in and breathe out. Be still and know that God is here. And God, in the midst of this time when we are offering ourselves to you, I pray that you might reveal to me and to us one area of life that we need to wake up to. That maybe we are slumbering and we are asleep and you need to wake us up. God, we offer ourselves to listen now. Speak to us, we pray. And help us today to be awake to what you reveal. We love you and we give you our thanks. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen.